What's going on, everyone? This is Sheets, and I'm going to be doing the lineup construction for the League of Legends World Slate. For those of you that watched yesterday, it was obviously quite a lot of fun. I walked through the entire thing as I was making it. Uh, we knew exactly what we wanted to accomplish, and we got lucky in that it worked out the way we wanted. Uh, we did a little live stream where we kind of tracked it after the first match, and we got a solo takedown in the big GPP, which does not happen too often. Um, uh, so not to promise that anything like that will happen in the future, but we're, this is what our our goal is, to put ourselves in a position where that could happen. So uh, let's talk about how we're going to do today's slate. It's a very similar type of slate in that you have one enormous favorite and one kind of two-to-one favorite. You have BLG, which is about a 15 to 1 favorite, and then you have T1 at minus 250 or whatever. Um, and it's also set up the same way as today's slate in that the closer match was the first one. Um, the only way that really matters is, is if you wanted to use the betting markets to hedge in, in against your exposure in the second match. Like let's say you had you know, a really good lineup going with BLG and all you need was BLG to win pretty much. You could bet PSG in the betting markets, get eight to one or whatever, but um, you'd have to be really, you have to be pretty sure that your lineups were going to win and you'd have to be able to figure out what the likelihood is they're going to cast for whatever. Anyway, that's, that's for a completely different discussion. So we have to shout out to Gelati, LOL. And, and free rolls DFS. These are the two guys I follow on Twitter who are responsible for almost all of my fundamental takes um, that I bring into these discussions. I mean, the majority of my skill set is in lineup building and portfolio management and things like that. Um, but I always, you know, follow sort of what these guys say and, and incorporate that into my analyses to some degree. Um, so, Going into this slate, it's a little, it's sort of the same uh, in that if you play like BLG, four man with T1, three man, you're just going to be just, just dupe city USA. Okay. So you really just can't even play that uh, at all. So that's one set that we're just not going to be able to get to. The, the other thing about that first matchup is that, we we've seen T1 put up some pretty low scores in in wins over the years um so it, it it's almost as if you can't even play T1 like at all um however uh Gelati pointed out in his podcast i mean something you know very prescient in that sometimes they can get involved in these wild freaking games. It doesn't happen too often, but but it is possible. Um, and so they're usually going to be either really, really boring or on occasion they could smash. So what, what we're going to try to do here is only play T1 formats uh, if we're going to play them at all, okay? So maybe four-man T1s and then three-man BLGs, okay, for example. Um, or, or play, just play G2. Now G2, they're an interesting case because, uh, if they're going to win, they're probably going to come from behind in a longer game and probably score pretty well. So similarly, I only want to play G2 formats. Okay. Um, now we were also running the risk, by the way, of, of, of there being like a three game series where no one really smashes, whatever. But that that's going to be the approach to this slate is we're only going to play G2 in four threes. We're only going to play G2 four mans or T1 four mans. BLG is just going to be three man slate, three man stack. And hopefully they, they just, they just win kind of easily and don't get pushed. Um, having BLG in the team spot is probably going to be very, very wise um, because of that, that, that bonus for the early, early, uh, 
early finish and for just the you know the 2 0 sweep, which is obviously very, very likely over there. Um so that's what we're kind of looking for in building these. And then obviously we're going to be very uh you know, we're gonna be very willing to take whatever four twos we can kind of get to. So we built like what do we build five thousand laps? No, we're, we're gonna build how many do we want to build to start off with? Let, let's let's build fifteen hundred. Forgot how many we built last time. Let's build fifteen hundred lineups. We already put our contests in here, so we can run the sims pretty easily. And the first thing I want to do is I want to see what we would get before we make any tweaks. Now, I, I, now listen. If if our lineups are not going to be in the rating in the top fifteen hundred, I don't want them anyway. I imagine it's going to be almost all BLG four man. Well, not all, but that's going to be the highest known would be BLG four mans and T one three mans, unless for some reasons pricing is such that it makes it difficult to construct. And DraftKings has been known to do that. Not not as not as much in the last year or two. When I first started playing League of Legends, they really did a, a much tighter job with the pricing. And made it extremely difficult to get like the two favorites in a four three, and it really challenged you to kind of like make make concessions. I don't know. They made the decision a few, I guess, a year or two ago to, to make it to make it such that you could probably play whoever you want. And and what that did is it, you know, created more dupes up at the top. Anyway, uh, so let's take a look before we even look and see what what's going on here. We would get. Well, mostly four threes, and it would be you know all PL, BLG, and T one, and then as usual, let's see what the four mans would look like. Uh, actually, they want you to play more T one than well, not more, but the top ones would be more T one than BLG. So that's actually sort of interesting. So we might kind of get to that, but let's run the Sims, and then we'll see what we what we can what we'll, we'll work backwards from there. Okay, so now what we're doing is simming our 1,500 lineups against the field that Saberson believes is um, is going to be played. And no, it's not perfect. Not by a long shot, but it's better than, than nothing. And in like a year, we're going to look back and say, oh my God, I can't believe we use this contest sims like this. But this is where we are right now in the cycle. All right, so here we go. So first thing you'll notice right off the bat, you have a 4-2 here. So Let's see when we just run the Sims. First of all, what kind of exposure we get? Yeah, actually getting mostly four threes. Um, and and let's just dive into them and see what that would look like. Okay, so well, let's just look at this. So in the four threes, we would have mostly BLG over T1, and where would the four mans be? It would be mostly T1, okay? I have this feeling that this is because of pricing as opposed to being for, you know, actual upside uh, things. But uh, I I am going to play the, the T1 four mans for the reasons that I had mentioned, Okay. So uh, let's see the T one four mans. How many of those are there in here? Looks as though there are twenty two T one four mans. But are they four threes? Yeah. And then how many three mans would those be? I guess it would be mostly PLG. I guess there would be some PSGs in there. But I think this is kind of the way you have to start: is just playing the four man T ones. And then we would just probably just go straight to the four man G two. So let's 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 first do the uh, four man T ones, and we'll save all these. Um, let's see, save to CSV. So these are the four man T ones, and then we will go. Um, let's back out of that, and now we'll go to the the the. the the four man G twos, which we're definitely going to play. 
So we only get five of those. All right, that's fine. Should probably play more, right? If we're playing 22 T1s. Yeah, so we should probably see the problem though is that if we're only getting no, they're they're 111 in the pool. All right, so we, we we can we can find some. So let's 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 force in some more of these. Let's force in. Let's put in let's 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 just get a couple more. Let's put in 30%. Right. So there's third now we have 13 of them. So that would be 22 T1s and 13 G2s. I think that's fair. So let's um save these. Save as CSV. So we're getting 22 of those, and then we're going to get 13 of these. So what do we do with the other five then? So with the other five lineups, what we're going to do is we're going to play four-man BLGs, but non-traditional stacks. So here we're going to go, we're not going to do all the four threes. Hold on. Um, stack exposure. Let's, let's actually get rid of the four twos. I mean the four threes and let's only play four man BLGs. And here they are. So these are five, five of them. And they're all four two ones. Boom. And then we'll save these. Oops. Uh, save to CSV. And there we go. So we now have the shock blast and, and the shock blast again. Um, this is not going to be nearly as unique as, as today's because um, we are playing a bunch of four threes. Um, but that's just the way it is. With respect to the triumphant warrior, let's just go back. Let's we'll see what the Sims give us for that. Let's, we got we got to X out of all this stuff here uh stack exposure we can play whatever we want and then we will take a look at no i need i need the um the triumphant warrior actually and it's not getting me there so we could we could um we could just do the top performing roi in the shock blast actually for here so we could just why don't we just do this we play the four-man T1 just like this. But I wonder if this is going to be just like massively duped. Maybe we should just go, we, should, we could go for the four-man G2. I mean, that, that, could, that could certainly work. You know, let's do a sim. Why not? So let let let's 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 right click this, add custom sim. We're going to call this triumphant warrior, and then it's going to what is only have like twelve people in it, right? Uh, Twenty five percent for first, whatever. Same thing. One user entry, and then we will rerun the sims here. Boom. And I will save this to. Um, Wait, what happened to oh it's oh it's it's simming right now sorry so this is the thing so so t1 as i mentioned they could win a boring series but if they do we, there's no way we can make money off it you know so we're just not playing it so let's, let's just take a look at the triumphant warrior. How that's gonna look that would look. And yeah, as I suspected, it's gonna be this one. So we we'll we'll put that one in. And we'll put that one in manually as we did before, as we did yesterday, just for good luck. 
So let's um, pull up DraftKings. Mm. Not MMA, uh, League of Legends. File these in here, and let, let's we'll just we'll just enter these right now, and then we'll change the triumphant warrior by hand. Okay, and we shall go back. Really bad night in DFS for me this evening, but you know it's the way that goes. Uh where is the triumphant warrior? Here we go. So what did we say we were going to do? We were going to do Guma Yushi, Guma Yushi up here. And then what? Zayas, Wei, Night Elk. Zayas, Wei, Night Elk. And then carry a T1. I mean, this, this, this. This could be a mistake. I mean, now that I think about this. I think we should just play the G2 because this is this is just gonna get duped. I just know it. So we are we are gonna we're gonna gamble and, and take the and go the other way. Um so where, where's where's the first non T1? Where's the first G2 here? I think it's worth trying. So let's go team stacks, let's get rid of the uh, T1. Let's just make sure we get a G2 here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this this one could be good. So it would be Elk on and BG Gaming. And we don't even have to play this way. We could just do this. This one, isn't this one that's much cleaner? Let's just do this one. So if G2 win and smash, we basically win. I and mean, we don't basically, I mean, we're, we're in really, really good shape. So this that's what we're going to play. So Hansama. Hansama. Broken Blade. Yike. Knight. Elk. Hold on. Knight. Elk. And... Mickey and BLG. BG Gaming, whatever you put it in. B, B dot gaming. Let's see. Gaming. All right, so let's take a look at this. Go G2. We'll know really quickly whether we're live and update this entry. And we're in business. All right, I'm going to post this up at 8 o'clock when uh, Slate locks. If I have any changes, I'll, I'll let you guys know that as well. And uh, that will do it.